What's up, everybody? This is Dave Brown, DIB Sports, and I'm just going to give you my reaction from the NFL draft so far. And right now, they're through 1 through 17. And um, I'm probably not going to watch the whole draft. I'm going to probably wait till tomorrow because they don't do East Coast people right. They got to stay in the ball late, and I need some my shut eye. <laughs> so, but to keep it real, I'm just talk about the one through seventeen, and everybody's gonna say the shocker is the shocker is definitely the number two pick. Uh, Chicago trading up to get uh, Mitchell Trubisky. I think that's one of the dumbest moves in recent NFL draft history because I don't see how this guy is gonna take a franchise to the next level. Didn't the Bears just get Mike Glennon? They just got Mike Glennon from the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be a superstar or anything, but if you're going to spend, uh, give this guy $45 million uh, three for three years, that means you're going to invest in this guy. So why would you sign another guy in the same position and actually probably end up paying double the amount for this uh, QB? I don't understand this move. It makes absolutely no sense. John Fox is gonna get probably get fired because I'm telling you, this is gonna be this is one of the dumbest moves in recent history. Um, then all that I thought was a bonehead move was the Mahomes move with the Chiefs. Maybe maybe Mahomes got something I haven't seen, but I don't understand how this guy leaped Deshaun Watson. I mean, I thought sports is the ultimate merit system. If what you put in, you you get out out of it, right? That's what I thought, and they just skipped him. And I, I'm surprised that Chiefs moved. At first, when the Chiefs moved up, I really thought they were going to get Deshaun Watson. I was like, okay, they're going to move up with Watson. They get Mahomes. Man, I don't know. I don't get. I don't get it. Um, a lot of a lot of Texas Tech QBs don't really do well in the NFL because number one, that's all they do is pass like eighty percent of the time. They're called the Texas Air Red Raiders for a reason because they throw the ball a lot. So the thing is, I don't understand. Patrick Mahomes being selected over a proven national championship winner and not just he's a a collegiate product but he's also a proven winner I mean he played the best of the best and also he beat Alabama which is basically a semi-pro NFL team (laughs) let's keep it real Alabama was pretty good in our old machine and he threw almost 500 yards on him twice so the fact that he didn't get picked it was a shocker to me. Um, he landed on Houston, Texas. Actually, at the end, actually helped him out. So uh, that that was a good move by the Texans because they have no quarterback. But here's the thing: who's going to start? It's going to be Savage first, and then Deshaun Watson, or Deshaun Watson going to start from day one? It's probably going to be uh, that's that's where the preseason kicks in. Um, and then what other picks? Uh, McCaffrey, great pick by the Panthers. Uh, I think Cam Newton finally get a weapon finally for the first time in a long time. It's always Cam Newton and everybody else. It's like Cam and the boys, man. They, he has no help. And uh, finally he gets some help. Then uh, uh, Fournette going to the Jaguars. That's a great pickup by the Jaguars. Uh, solid pickup. Um, then uh, Miles Garrett, of course, number one. Uh, that was conventional wisdom. Pick the best talent. So I think Miles Garrett will he have a solid career? Who knows? Uh, time will tell. NFL. One thing is, the field always tells the truth, and I think Miles Garrett will got to see if if he is the truth. And uh, that's so so far. Um, the the story the, definitely this you know, tomorrow you're gonna see it on the uh, all the newspaper ESPN probably right now or even uh, Fox Sports. You know they're gonna say that Trubisky trade unbelievable 13 games and you're the second pick of the draft <sighs> i'm telling you i i'm not a fortune teller but whoever made that decision is gonna get fired in two years I, i'm put i'm putting money down i think that that guy is not worth the second pick of the draft and i don't think honestly he didn't earn it and that's just my take on it for now through one through 17 i'll probably i'm gonna do another reaction video when i early tomorrow morning when because This draft is going to be so long, (laughs) and they don't like us East Coast folks. So, (laughs) peace, subscribe, and uh, give me your feedback.